We are here in Dulwich, East London, in this gorgeous kitchen. Um, and we're getting ready to cook with one of my absolute favorite chefs um, on Instagram, which is how I see her work. Uh, Noor, whose Instagram is Noorish by Noor. And we're pretty excited. It's gonna be a delicious dish. I've got to go and give Alfie a glass of wine for letting us use his amazing kitchen. Alf, got a drink for ya. I'm here with right. um, Noor. Hello. Norwich by Noor. It's yes. so good to have you here. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. And you, you work for? I work for um, Yotam Atalangi in the Atalangi Test Kitchen. Thank so you. it makes absolute sense that your food is some of the most legit banging food on Instagram. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what are we cooking? We are making a Bahraini dish. Um, That's Bahrain. That's Bahrain, and Jay can tell you where it is. Sure. Because you right know next it. to Qatar. Because he Googled it on my way here. In the <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you know where it was? Uh, do you know what? You did not, 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 and she added too much water and she was like, oh my God, I messed up. So then she started beating it and then she presented it to him. And she was like, this is a, this dish called madroba, which means beaten. <laughs> and that's how they say that this dish was made. Good, I like, yes. it. I like it. Out of a happy mistake. <laughs> Aren't all things? Yeah, and then he digged it. He was like, yeah, I love it. And it is now one of our national dishes. Cheers. Cheers. We're cooking with wine, of course. Is of it course. Saturday or Sunday? It's Saturday. Saturday, weekend cooking. This is my weekend. favorite thing to do on the weekend. Cook exactly. And Let's get going with this. So I can help. I can help you on the way. I'm your, you I'm better your, help me. I can be your whipping boy. <laughs> All right. So if you want to make yourself useful. Yeah, let me be useful. What's up? Okay. So these tomatoes, um, we're gonna grate them. Cool. Oh wow. Okay. Um, cool. Just it's an easy way. I don't like skins, and it's a good way to kind of just get the tomato ness without the skin ness. One. So um, I'm grating them on the large thing. On the large thing, yeah. Cool. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. There you go. All right, and then good. when you get to the point where you think you might cut your fingers. Yeah, I always think that, so yeah. I'm kind of there already when I start. <laughs> that's when you just discard the skin. Ah, OK, fine. Yeah. What, so is this, is the skin's not, ah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool, man. You're there just you getting, go. That's, what? What? You know, Mind that's blown. That's a wicked chefy technique. Is it so a really chefy not, thing? <laughs> the skin's not uh, going into this, as far as I can tell. Is that correct? Yeah. Just, the, it's just. Yep. I'm just getting some really nice. You're just yeah, getting all of the first. pulp and seeds, which is what you want. Yeah. Boom. Okay. So, ah, uh, yeah. And then you've just got the little. There you go. There you go. Boom. See you later. Yep. Exactly. Okay. Then you just get rid of that. Can we talk about the knife just because I noticed You want to talk about the knife? Just a little bit. It's a bit I mean, knife porny. It is, it is a bit knife porny. It's, it's a Japanese um, blade. It's a Japanese blade. It's, it's very it? nice. And that, when you get an amazing, incredibly sharp knife, that is how it's going to cut your bloody onions. Yeah, really. that is how it's going to do it. And the good thing is, it, it'll cut your onions really fast, so there's less crying time for your eyes. I just don't want to start crying on camera, you know? <laughs> So I actually got a couple of um, things I thought would be quite interesting to pair with this dish. So, Did a bit of wine shopping. Yes. And to be honest, I thought this would be good to pair with the dish. Yeah. But also we need to cook with something. The local chap who I bought it off yeah. kind of pushed me towards. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> a, yeah, exactly. A, well, I bought both just in case. He pushed you or you're just easily swayed? I asked for his opinion <laughs> and I thought I'll buy, but I'll buy his opinion uh, and mine. It always starts when you ask for an opinion. Do, do you think that's you never ask for an opinion. <laughs> just don't ask. Well, so we got another one. Yeah, and then I want to show you one of these actually, because oh, this. Yeah. Show me. It's a beer. Mango, turmeric and ginger. But very light in the background. So I, but I was like, yeah, I'll take a couple of those. They might go with your dish. So we can find Dig out. It. Subtle and spicy. Thought process. Just well, as you're looking at that, you're thinking, Jay, that's fucking ridiculous. No, I, no, no I, th I think it's totally possible. I think it's totally possible. 
Just warm Low up. and slow, just warm up. So basically, you cook a chicken just in just in water, an onion, like a couple of cinnamon sticks, whatever else you want to use. And um, that kind of, you use, you like pick off all the meat off the bone and you use that, that chicken stock that you just made to cook the dish in. Nice. Um, look, have a look at this, it's quite interesting. I mean, more for me, for <laughs> literally never knowing this trick, but I've now got all the pulp, all the seeds, yeah. zero skin yeah. from just a box grater, just smashing it out on there. Not them. about that tomato skin life. So how spicy do we want to make this? You make it how you like it, because <laughs> uh, we eat hot, I eat amazing, you know, hot as you want. <laughs> okay, how as I you want. wish. As I wish. My dad, he loves spicy food, and he's always yelling at my mom, you're not making it spicy enough. She's like, I don't care. <laughs> so, so, uh, so yeah, we always have like a bowl of chilies on the, on the kitchen table, so then he can just eat a whole chili. Oh, as he meal. chooses. Uh, yeah. That kind but of he do that, but he just take one. No, he literally will. He is hardcore. Really? He is a hardcore man. All right, so we are pretty much prepped to start cooking. Awesome. We're gonna saute our onions, and then we're gonna add our holy trinity uh, ginger garlic chilies. And yeah, we're gonna start the base for this. I like the way you call it the holy trinity. Holy well. trinity, right here. Nice pan, mate. Thank you so much. Much. What a lovely pan. <laughs> Thank you. I just, you know. Where'd you get it? Off the street. Wow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> a little street vendor. <laughs> there we go, Klaus. Get in there, mate. What a... Get in there. Good couple of slugs of olive oil. Yeah, good amount. Generous amount. So, for example, yes. I've limited it to like five spices. It usually has like ten. It's got like cardamom and um garam masala and all these different things but like you know to ask someone to cook something and expect them to have like a fully stocked spice cupboard i'd rather they cook it with less spices and give the dish Got a chance than like not cook it at all because they're like oh my god this ingredient list has like thirty-five thousand ingredients i don't want to ever make it <laughs> so when you cook you sometimes you cook in mind for people to be able to follow what you do yeah That's and cool. but i had to kind of train myself to do that because i never used to be that way i used to be like this is the recipe, like, you know, freaking source the ingredient. Everyone should get this, everyone should have this fully stocked spice cupboard, like. And then uh, working in the test kitchen, I was kind of trained to think differently and I am really glad I, uh, that I do. Cause it's, right. they, they kind of, you know, Yasan's always like, well, you know, we also have to keep in mind, does this, does, you know, how user friendly is this? Like we want people to cook these recipes. So how are we going to do that and stuff? So it's, it's kind of great. Yeah. In that sense. No, that may, yeah, makes perfect sense and it makes it accessible for everyone. I think like the best thing you can do as a home cook is fully stock the shit out of your dry cupboard. Like get, just invest in, yeah. get all the spices and get, you know, just get all the oils, all the spices, mm -hmm. all the vinegars, have them there. They'll last for a fair old bloody while. Yeah. And then when you're in the kitchen cooking and you've only got, some onions and my holy trinity tomato, garlic, whatever it is, a few ingredients. Yeah. The whole world is still kind of at your fingertips. It's you can totally mix it true. Up, can't it's you? totally true. I, you know what I forgot we need? Our herbs. Gosh, I've got all my herbs. Sorry, all they're herbage. all herbs. Wait. Just standing around, need to make you work. <laughs> Actually, and a really quite foody, geeky, foody, interesting thing. We're using dill. Mmm, spent. 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 Never mind, it's dill. It's dill. So dill is like, this is, this is nor cooking? Um, or this so is... So no, so, so we use a very herbaceous, we're very liberal with our herbs. Um, so, and we love coriander and dill and parsley. Those three herbs are like in almost so many of our dishes. I love dill so much. So do I, but Thai, so Thai, thai food, I never, I never thought of that. Yes. That is they very cool. They use dill in Thai food and this- In their stir fries? Exactly, like a vegetable, so just okay. chuck the whole thing in. Oh, At the amazing. very end, obviously. It just, it just goes so well with so many things. I love it so much, so. All right, so now I'm gonna add in my spices. Let's get in here, this looks yeah. amazing. So at the moment we've got the garlic, tomato puree, Onions, and then all the spicing in there. Ginger, garlic, chili, holy trio. Now I'm gonna go in with uh, your beautiful grated tomatoes. Beautiful, Mike. Beautiful. Just stir that all in. Taste that. All right. Ooh. Do you 
you think that'll go? I think it definitely will. I like that. Oh, and then you really get the turmeric afterwards. It's subtle though. Yeah. It's not no, but it's like overwhelmingly a mango. Or... or no, not at all. Yeah. It's got a, yeah. I'm Thanks. digging it. We are in the next phase. Alright, so I added yeah, the chicken, I've added most of the herbs, and now I'm gonna add the rice. I'm gonna do it uh, by I'm gonna do it go. by eye. I'm gonna do it by eye. That, I think it's 800 grams. Yeah. Rice has gone in dry that you put no stock in there yet. I have none, but I'm I'm going to. So I added the rice, I've added the shredded chicken. Now I'm gonna add um, some salt and pepper. Just a good amount. Salt. This is a very cool snazzy grinder. Digging it. You've put in half your herbs now. And I've added in like most of my herbs and the rest I'll stir in. People sometimes add like spinach or chard at this point. Um, I'm not, I'm just making it super herby. And then you're gonna add chicken stock. So this is the what, what I boiled the chicken in earlier. Chuck it right in there. Okay, cool. And that's a good amount. Nice. So I'm gonna keep the rest because I might wanna um, I can smell the cinnamon in the Yeah, stock, so right? I just added a few cinnamon sticks in there. Ah. Um, but when it comes to the boil, we're gonna lower the heat down to low, yep. cover it, and then we're just gonna let it cook gently, and then we're gonna beat the hell out of it. Um, and that's kind of what you want. All right, so now it's kind of simmering. I'm gonna turn it down. And then we're gonna find a lid for it somewhere and... It's too much? No, no. I mean, it's so extra, but I like it. I'm digging it. This is and great. And then we can, and whatever can, we like, want in here, start. Like, yeah, exactly. Get a bit of broth in there. Yeah. And like a mini hot pot while you're cooking. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so now cooking time. So we spoke okay. about the length of what's going on. So here. I'm just gonna let this cook. I want this this to overcook. I basically want to overcook the rice because I'm gonna then beat the rice. Um, so I don't want the rice to be like solid grains or or even al dente or anything like that. So that's why I added so much water. Great. So we can, it's broken rice. Usually traditionally they they do them in these pots that are kind of cylindrical they kind of go like upwards they have like these big paddles like wooden paddles and so the ladies will put the pot like sit down put the pot between their legs and then just beat the get the paddle and like beat the mixture like pushing it against the sides of the pot to right. kind of get that like pasty consistency which is very hard so that is why we are using a whisk nice yes and why not we've got it why so not simple. why not and then the trick the chicken like shreds, so you get this like shreddy, like gloopy consistency. It sounds awful, I'm not selling it very well, but it's no, really no. good. I'm in. I'm, de I'm, I'm into, into it. it. I'm into it. I'm into it. So I'm gonna start by just caramelizing onions and then add the the greens to them. Amazing. Cool. So now it's time for the topping. So I've been giving this a stir every few seconds, every few minutes, sorry. Because nice. um, just starting to break it down. Yeah. And you just want to just stir it because in the end you're helping that process, that like porridge process. I'm going to add a bit more um, stock to that. I like it a bit looser, so... Tell me when. Okay. When. The good thing is you can keep adding, but you can never take away. So better to add a little less and then keep adding as you go along to yeah. see where you want it to be at. Um, this is a very humble no frills dish, so. <laughs> so this is like a bit pairing pairing the cooking with booze. So I think this is a winner. Yeah, do you know what? But we sort of yeah, <laughs> yeah, we drank them. So um, what? But what I'm doing is I'm saving what I believe to be the ultimate pair to go with the dish. So I'm okay. actually gonna, you know, like thank you for his uh, offer. This was what he decided. It's a very really nice Pinot Grigio, but. I am going to save my choice to pair with the dish. Okay. Maybe, maybe there'll be some of this left. All right, this is looking real good to me. So it's still going to have more lemon, more herbs. I think it could take more salt, personally. What do you think? I think you can kick a little bit more in there as well. Mm. I mean, it tastes, uh, to be honest, it tastes amazing. <laughs> but why not? Why not, right? A little bit more. And see how with the chilies kind of really died out? It's not really that spicy. It's only first tasted it. Yeah. Yeah. It's background. Yeah, it's background. It's still chilies. hot. I mean, this is spicy. But you can see that just from stirring it, how the, yeah, go for it. 
how the, the chicken is starting to kind of shred. Oh, so for me, good. that's kind of done. Oh, is it really good? Yeah, it's really Are you good. loving it? Honestly, it's okay. really, really good. So. It's really good. <laughs> we're not done yet. This is the hard part, guys. Ah, is it? Yes, and this is where your uh, biceps and triceps are going to come in handy. Show us yes. the goods. Show us the goods. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so usually, like I said, they would use a wooden, um, just pretend this is wooden, and they would take it, and then they oh, would yeah. kind of like right. bash it against the side to get that, like to break apart the rice granules. We're not going to do that because... Ain't nobody got time for that. We're gonna go in with a whisk, which I think kind of is what I'm looking for anyway. It, it breaks it apart, but it keeps it still porridgey. Um, and you can already see like the chicken is like shredding and it's getting to where I want it to be. Oh, and, I absolutely love this dish. And you do it for like a good five, 10 minutes, depending on um, the level of bicep that you're at. <laughs> so if you're a gym bro, bro, this yeah, will work <laughs> really well. So well, you... I never was, but like I said. Right. So, I, Mal, this chicken is now real. So when you say, oh, you see it shredding, I was kind of, to me, I was like, eh, shredded the chicken. No, this is shredding. Really like yeah. individual, individuated yeah, strands. It's the, the thing, you, you want to know that it's chicken, but not really. Yeah. People will be like, this is chicken, right? Ah, kind of got you. You can switch arms as well. I mean, if you feel, <laughs> you feel like your right arm is getting real tired. No, you're a total booze hammer. You've drunk all the booze. I, I know, I know I have. I'm just, me. I'm so hardcore. <laughs> Look at that. It's coming on, right? It's just getting... I mean, honestly, you're pretty much a Bahraini now at this point. Yes. Just get a passport. Yes. That looks really good. I think you're at a good consistency now. Bueno? What, yeah. leave it? Yeah, leave it. Proper bueno. Okay. So now I'm just gonna add. Keep this ready to more whisk. Our oh, lemon juice. Lemon juice because why not? And chef, there is a reason we add lemon juice and lime juice at the end, is there not? Yeah, it's, I mean when you cook with lemon juice, it gives a whole different flavor. I mean you can start, but just realizing it'll be a completely different flavor profile. You add it at the end, it keeps that freshness yeah. that you're looking for. It does. It, uh, the heat can kill it. And more herbs because that's all we know, really. Gorgy. Man, this is looking the bum ting. All right, so. Oh, dude, look at that, look. Yeah. I love that. Hey, you were saying stringy. Yeah, stringy? that's what I mean. That thing, look at yeah. that. <laughs> I would say that that we're is. Ready to plate. Ready to plate. Let's have a look at this. Oh, we'll get it on the plate. We'll get it on the plate first. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. Honestly, Thank you. I've loved every minute of it. I mean, that was in the kitchen with Noor. It was in the kitchen with, with Noor, with me. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. Can't wait to do it again. Oh my God, absolutely. We what already a... know. Let's eat. Let's do this. <laughs>